Okay, I'm going to, going to do a little video to show the efficiency of a molasses and water mixture in removing rust. Here's one rusty barbecue burner, fairly rusted. We're going a bit closer and have a look. Now I'm going to suspend that in. Bear with me while I open up the shed. Have a look at the puppy dog while you're waiting. Hello puppy dog. We'll suspend that in there. And choose my container. <laughs> of molasses and water. There's a couple of things that I'm just finishing off. Some horseshoes and that plate. Those shoes should be ready in a day or two. Now, let me take our burner. Grab one of our hooks. Very simple, simple hook. A little bit of fencing wire. Insert thusly. Pick up thusly. Yeah, pretty easy. And in she goes. That'll need to sit for a couple of days before I take it out and just give it a light scrub with a wire brush and re immerse it for another day or two after that. So we'll come back in a couple of days and have a look at that. Okay, here we are two days later. And here's our barbecue burner out of the mix. I'll just take it over to my washing out of here. here we are in the washing up area. Now we will need a brush. One wire brush. As you can see, just with the washing off of the hose, that's, most of that rust is off now. Got a bit of a black spot on there. Now I'll just get the wire brush onto it. I have to pause the camera at this point. Back again. Adventures with cats. Okay.
see most of the rust is off, a few small little patches still, but it's only been in two days. We give that another couple of days. We'll take her out and see how she looks then, eh? Okay. See you in two days. Okay. Here we are two days later. Time to see how it turns out, eh? Time to scrub a dub a doo. Bit of a wash down with water first. two weeks. A bit unusual for central Queensland. We're in the subtropical zone here. That's why it's unusual. It's really fairly dry. doesn't get rid of fat. So if you've got fat or grease on something, you want to get rid of that before you submerge it. I've also found it doesn't affect paint unless the paint's flaky or on a rusted surface. Um, chroming doesn't affect, so it's a, it's a fairly gentle way of removing rust. And here we have, I'll finish, just about finished. Let's give it a bit more of a rinse. That's good enough for me. That's pretty much the finished unit. I'm pretty happy with that. A bit of a spray with a water dispersant to stop any surface rust forming straight away. And job's done. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> 